Hi everyone, this is Country Cuddlebugs Nursery and I have another box opening to show you. Now I took her out of the box that she came packaged in because I wasn't quite sure it was this Behringer doll that I was expecting, but it was. So I just moved that box aside and decided to start the video from this point. So here, sorry about the glare. I have another Behringer baby and she is from the boutique, Behringer Boutique. And some of you may know her. There's a few videos of her on YouTube. She is absolutely adorable. And her name is Lily and she is an 18 inch Behringer doll. So this is the largest Behringer doll that I have in my collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and take her out from the box and show you what she came with and how adorable she looks. Okay, so I've removed her from her box and I'm just gonna go over a little bit of information on her in case you wanna look her up for yourself. So she is made in Spain. She's the 18 inch all vinyl realistic doll with moving arms and legs. She is anatomically correct. She is the deluxe gift set, which includes the brown eyed all vinyl doll, which is Lily. The dress she's wearing, soft hooded overcoat, matching soft shoes, plush cat, baby bottle. She is washable. She's safety tested and approved for children ages 24 months and up. She's made by JC Toys. The only baby doll manufacturer with over 30 years experience and with real life baby dolls. Proud to be designed by Behringer. So I'm going to go ahead and remove her clothing and really this is so pretty. I just love the overcoat and the dress that she has on. It is Velcro here and beautifully lined on the inside with the same material as her dress. She is super cute. And then she just has a cloth uh, or material little, um, what are they called? diaper cover I guess I think there's another name for it but it's not coming to me right now but really really cute has a little bow in the front and again it is done up with velcro so it does say Behringer there on the back and I do find with the Behringer dolls, at least the ones that I have purchased, is that they are more red in color. Almost like when you're buying a blank kit and you have the German vinyl, it's that same type of color in the vinyl. But she is so cute. Oh my gosh, she's just a little chunky monkey, so just adorable. So let's start with her ears. Nicely sculpted. Her hair. There's a shadow all over and of course the texture of the lines in the vinyl to look like hair. She has beautiful brown eyes. Her nose is adorable. Little button nose. And her lips are slightly opened. I can't see her taking a modified pacifier. But with her, I do not believe I'm going to put her on a cloth body because her body is just too adorable with all these little rolls but I will at least put a magnet inside of her head so that she can take a pacifier, a magnetic pacifier. And then I may do a little bit of adding some paint to her just to give her a little bit more of a realistic look, but she is just beautiful. 
and here's her little belly button so it looks like it's just sticking out a little bit so cute and then here's her other ear really nice detailing on these dolls and then her back so she's the first one where there's a very slight look of a bit of a spine there but not like the other ones where you can really see it but she has all these rolls on her back and her elbow there's the other elbow and then her wrists you can see have some more rolls her chest and then her legs let's go ahead and take off her little booties so we can see her feet but look at these legs <laughs> so chubby so cute there's the back and then her little feet here so they seem to be all joined there is a little bit of a gap just at the very end but they are joined even her big toe is joined to the rest and the same with her other foot she doesn't have as much detailing as some of the other ones that I purchased but probably because she's so chubby <laughs> But look at those toes, how adorable. Let's look at her hands. So there you can see her hands are all separated. And then nice detailing in her nail beds. And like the others, her nails are not tipped. So they're both open hands. side of that hand so super super cute so she is anatomically correct so I'm not going to remove the diaper cover but I thought with her I'm going to go ahead and change her into an outfit okay so before I start changing her I forgot to show her little bottle that she comes with there's a cap with it as well and then she has this little plushy cat rattle, which is really cute. So the outfit that I'm going to put her in is by Carter's. And I have used this one before, but I really wanted to try it on her because being that she's all vinyl, anything that's thin straps on top or something like this would look really cute on her since she'll be able to see the vinyl underneath so I thought I'd put her in that so it's a little top with the tassels I just love this outfit and there's little white shorts we'll see how those fit on her and then I have a little head wrap from Pat Pat and I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or this one here um, this one I just picked it up at Dollar Tree which is really cute and then I have either these little shoes, these are by Joe Fresh, or uh, where's her other shoe? I have to get her other one, or this little pair, which is also by Joe Fresh. And I have already tried these on her, they fit her really nicely, so I'm not quite sure. Okay, so. I'm just going to leave her with her diaper cover for now and then later on I'll try her with a diaper but I'm just going to leave her. So I have to say that I'm really enjoying these Behringer dolls and I'm really looking forward to modifying some of them. Some of them I will just straight paint and keep them on their vinyl body. And then with a few of them, I'm thinking that I'm going to be changing their bodies and putting them on a soft 
cloth body. I really like the look of the vinyl and again because I am more of a collector where I just like to dress and display the dolls then vinyl is really nice but I know for some of you who are collectors that like to interact with your dolls then definitely the soft cloth bodies would probably be better for you but it's nice that Behringer does have the option of both or if you are handy with doing so you can always take them off the vinyl body and place them on a cloth body yourself I think the price of them is really great although I did notice that if you don't get it from JC toys or from Amazon that if you do find them from other sellers they do tend to charge a lot more for them so I think it's good to really do your research and see where you can find them for the best price oh my goodness she is so cute so let me just turn her around here and with Lily, it is great that she fits really nicely in the newborn clothing, which is great. So you don't have to buy specific sizes for these dolls. And again, what I did love about the 14 or 15 inch is that they fit really nicely in preemies. I prefer the clothing a bit baggy. So for me, it's not a problem. Um, some people might think that the preemies are still a little bit too big on them, but I like them baggy. So for me, it works out great. So this is the first headband. <laughs> She's so cute. She really does have such a sweet face. So that's the first one. Let me just try this one. Oh, I love that one. I like the other one as well, but these ones are just so beautiful. So I think I will keep her in this one. And I think I want to put these little sandals on, but she does have a very chunky foot, so. Yeah, see her, her ankle has those rolls on it, so it barely reaches, but it'll do. I think I'll try and keep these ones on for displaying her. And with Lily, what's really nice as well is that she will sit on her own. So again, for me, who loves to display the dolls, it's really nice to be able to display her that way. So there's her little sandals with her shorts that fit her perfectly and this top and this is what I mean like you can see the vinyl which really makes it nice for realism okay guys so that will do it for this video I love this baby doll she is super cute and I would like to kind of place all the ones that I have together so that you can see the difference in sizing in detailing and um, this way I can kind of have one last look at them before I start working on them I first would like to do changing videos with them and then start working on them so there will be changing videos coming up next with the Behringer dolls 
I just think she is so beautiful. I did watch many videos on her and I really loved her for her realism so that if you are getting into this hobby and you want a more affordable doll than a reborn but um, you just can't afford the price then I would definitely recommend you start with one such as Lily because she is bigger in size um, she is full vinyl if you are looking more for a soft vinyl then um, you could either you know have somebody reborn her or do it yourself if you are able to do that or just really get into the feel of enjoying her this way just to see if this is a hobby that you would like to get into but look how cute she is she's so sweet and I do love how they kind of have their eyes off to the side she is adorable well I really enjoyed these Behringer dolls. I'm going to enjoy working with them and seeing what I come up into modifying them a little bit and making them more to my liking. Although, as I said, they are beautiful just as they are. Even if you did absolutely nothing to them, they are really, really adorable. And for kids, definitely. I would recommend these because the vinyl, even though it's not like a very hard vinyl because before I actually had one I thought that they would be a lot more harder but um, they are more durable that's for sure so for children these are perfect I also think for children they would love them because they can be washed so they can bathe them they can take them in the pool with them and they're gonna hold up very well so I highly recommend them um, if you haven't heard of them check them out and if you have them then I'm sure that you enjoy them let me know in the comments section below if you have any yourself and which ones you have um, but they really are beautiful beautiful dolls and I am so glad that I was able to purchase some of them I am finding that from time to time it's very hard to actually find specific ones so um, I know they've been around for a while and uh, people really do enjoy them and I'm just really glad that I was able to add them to my collection so if you guys enjoyed this video I really hope that you did please give the video a thumbs up it will greatly help my channel share the video if you can and if you haven't subscribed to my channel i would absolutely love and appreciate it if you did as always guys you take care of yourselves and i hope to catch you in my next video bye for now